Part B, hence solve for 0 less than or equal to x less than 360 degree, the equation 12 tan 2x plus 5 cot x secant square x equals 0. Show each stage of your working and give your answer to one decimal place. And you'll be given four marks for this question. We need to solve this equation. The equation is the same as the equation in part A. Within this given limit 0 to 360, you need to be very careful. Here 0 also included. 0 less than or equal to. But 360 is not included. And you need to solve this. That's it. It has four marks. So what I'm going to do, instead of this, I take this equation that we derive in part A. In this equation, T is tan x. I'm going to solve this equation because solving this equation is same as solving this equation because we have derived this equation from the trigonomet given trigonometric equation. Only thing here, T is tan x. Maybe after finding the solution, we can replace T by tan x. How do we uh, find the solution of this equation? When you look at this equation, Maybe I'm going to introduce another variable as take t square as s. So when you substitute t square as s here, we have 5s square minus 24s. Maybe it looks the same like s. Right? I, I use another letter p. 5p square minus 24p minus 5 is 0. Now we got a quadratic equation. We know how to solve this quadratic equation. Use any method and you can find two values of P already. I'm going to use product sum method. You have minus 24 and 5 times minus 5 is minus 25. So the two numbers are minus 25 times 1, minus 25 plus 1. So you got 5P square minus 25P plus P minus 5 is 0. So 5P into P minus 5 plus 1 into p minus 5. If you have your calculator, you don't need to do all this step. You, you go to the quadratic function, key in your values of a, b and c. The calculator straight away gives you the values of two values, the two solutions of this quadratic equation. If you don't know how to do that, you need to do all these steps. So you have 5p plus 1 into p minus 5 is 0. So I got two values, minus 1 upon 5 and positive 5. Now replace p by t square. t square is minus 1 upon 5 and t square is 5. So when you find t, you cannot find the square root of a negative number unless you involve complex numbers and all which is not allowed here. So this has no solution. When you take the second one, when you take the second one, your t square is 5. So your t will be basically plus or minus square root of 5. Your t is tan x. So tan x equals plus or minus square root of 5. And you need to solve this trigonometric equation within this given limit 0 to 360 and write down all the values. That will be the solution of the given equation. Okay, I repeat again. Instead of solving this trigonometric equation, we have taken this form, the fourth degree equation that we derive in part A, and we are going to solve this because both are same. When you solve this, the degree is 4, so change it to degree 2 by substituting t square a equals p. So you'll get a quadratic equation in p. Solve it, you got two values. Change p back to t. So t square is this, t square is this. Since it's a negative value, you cannot find the square root of negative value, leave it. Take this, t plus or minus square root of 5. And your t is tan x. So you need to solve this within this limit. 0 less than or is equal to x less than 360. So you must know how to solve a trigonometric equation. You can take the plus square root of 5 and minus square root of 5 separately. Minus square root of 5. So we are going to find the principal value. Find the tan inverse of square root of 5. 
we got 65.905 x is 65.9 degree x is 65.9 degree don't do not worry about this negative sign first this is just a principal value okay it's not the solution it is just a principal value it will be used to find the actual solution now okay draw this astc diagram astc you must know this and we are looking at a tan theta a quadrant where tan theta is positive so basically here and here these two uh, these two quadrants where your tan theta will be positive here the tan theta is supposed to be negative so your two quadrants are s and c now find the solution between 0 to 360 so here it will be theta here it will be pi plus theta or 180 plus theta so your two solutions are theta which is 65.9 comma 180 plus theta 180 plus this which is 245.9 degree okay you got two solutions between these limits and when it comes here your tan theta will be negative in second and fourth quadrant in second quadrant the solution will be pi minus theta 180 minus theta here it will be 360 minus theta so find 180 minus theta 180 minus 65.9 so you have 114.1 degree and 360 minus 65.9 which is 294.1 degree that's it you got all the solutions already you have two solutions here two solutions here total of four solutions which will satisfy this equation that's it